Yeah. So um, besides uh, feeding your fish, I mean, do you feed your fish, you know, a lot? Do you feed uh, any, you know, coral supplements? I see that uh, Bobby's Reef Aquariums is asking your opinion about aminos. Do you, you know, so do you feed any coral food or aminos on top of fish food? No, I don't. Um, I try, I definitely try that stuff out though. I tried aminos. I tried coral foods. I never really wanted to like spot feeding Acropora because it doesn't look like they eat it. <laughs> um, so I stopped doing that. But um, yeah, I try like broadcast feeding coral food and aminos. For me, in my experience, aminos is, um, so in my, ex in my tank, when I dose aminos, it's like cyano in a bottle for me. That stuff is just bad for my speaking for some reason. Um, not saying it won't work in yours, but in mine, I just break out in cyano like within the next couple of days if I keep doing it. So yeah, that yeah, I don't believe in that stuff. I just believe in feeding the fish, and um, I don't you know. There's this saying where people people say, "Oh, corals eat fish poop," or all they need is fish. Poop. I don't think that's real. I've never seen a coral polyp close around some fish poop but because it's a lot more complicated than that right the fish poop is actually releasing right. nutrients and that's what the corals soak in through their membranes they're not actually eating the fish poop but um yeah i don't know did i answer your question i i believe so now, any any special kind of fish food do you have your own blend no you know i i no i don't have my own blend uh but what i feed my fish is sort of always changing like before i was i would like like maybe six months ago, I was dosing a lot of pellets and a lot of, or dosing, I was feeding a lot of pellets and flakes, but that was, uh, I just didn't like the way my corals looked. And so I've got off of, so currently I stopped feeding anything processed, believe it or not. So right now, as of this moment, I only feed frozen food or um, seaweed. <laughs> and um, it's just another experiment. I'm always experimenting with those types of things, but um. But I think that just by messing with my fish food, I can adjust how my corals look. You know, I don't need to dose amino acids or some special coral food because I can do everything that I need to do with just adjusting my fish feedings, whether it's how much I feed or the type of food that I um, feed them. But but uh, since I've started just dosing, I mean, feeding the natural foods, all the fro only frozen foods and only seaweed, my corals actually look better in my, I think, compared to when I was feeding pellets and all that processed stuff. So we'll see. It's just it's just an experiment. Yeah, you're, we're uh, we're getting some comments here about Percy Adams, who I believe said he's uh, hello from Tahiti. Ah, that's that's awesome. Watching from Tahiti is uh, how do you get those colors with zero nitrates and zero phosphates? And and we're getting another question um, uh, from Mark. Um, Leon, Abe, please share. How do you get such high polyp extension on your SPS corals all the time? So you, um, you're, you're you're getting some comments there, Abe, with with these very uh, low uh, nutrient levels in terms of the uh, the great colors and the polyp extension. Yeah. What's what's the uh, what's the ticket there? It's just kind of like what you've been talking about in terms of the way you run systems. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had a good, you know, scientific reasoning behind it, but I don't. I mean, my corals just do better with low nutrients. I And um, I would like to say that, uh, you know, and that's not something that I've, like, developed in the last couple of years. This has been my entire, the whole time I've been successful with Acropora, always low nutrients have brought out the best colors for me. So um, it, it's, it's not something that you could move me off my position, you know what I mean? Because sometimes when, at times when I tried to go higher nutrients, things ended up dying. It could be that my corals are just used to that. And that's, that's, and that's what, that's the reason they, they look good. I don't know. But um, I, yeah, I just don't have a good answer because there are definitely people who like to run higher nutrients and who have great colors, but I don't have a good answer for that. As far as, uh, um, Percy is wondering how many times a day do you, do you feed your fish? Oh, I feed them once, but I, I do feed them heavy. So I don't, I don't know how to quantify that for you to understand, but I do feed them a lot. Uh, if you saw my fish, they're very fat. And it, oh, I should say this, it usually takes about uh, 50 minutes for all the food to go away. That's oh, really? That's how much I feed. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. 